man. He, the poor dude can't. And he married a woman that could dance is just about as good as he. And we would we used to go to the the bars, you know, the clubs back in the day. And uh, I swore that they looked like two people having seizures on the dance floor. It was that dead, Texas cryptid was so says bad. I ran across a metal cover of the Dead South that was surprisingly good. Really. Studio Kako says, I mean, I can two-step or line dance, but that's about it. My sister's really good at two-stepping. I used to go, my sister used to always make me dance with her. I wouldn't, I, I never was really good. I was all right at it, but I couldn't do all the stuff. Ha ha Elaine's little kicks from Seinfeld. Two-stepping says Marty Robbins. Marty Robbins. Oh, yeah, I remember Marty Robbins. And Charlie Daniels. I'm one of those weird folks. If I listen to old country, I like listening to it on an AM radio. I love listening to, to old country on an AM. It just reminds me when I was a kid, I guess. I mean, Did, did you, you know Marty Robbins also drove early NASCAR? No, what? I didn't know that. That Texas cryptid says New Grass Revival. New Grass Revival. Never heard of them. Two-stepping says yes here. That Texas cryptid says they're bluegrass. Oh, okay. Studio oh, Caco man. says I love the country I grew up with. Late 80s, early O. Jock says I put Alabama shakes in the music share channel. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm here to tell you, dude. You get to like, you get, man. I like, I'm, I have a buddy of mine. When we skip school a lot. I'm not promoting skipping school. If anybody in here is still in school. But when we skip school a lot, he had an old El Camino and he had Garth Brooks roping the wind. Purple Daisy says I grew up listening to the original WSMAM 650, the home of the Grand Ole Opry. The home of the Grand Ole Opry, she go. Two-stepping says great album. Yeah, it was a good album. There's so many, there's so many good songs on that album. So many good songs on that album. Well, then I go over and I love, I still think, I think Pete Floyd, Wish You Were Here, is like, like got to be one of my absolute favorite songs in the entire world. I don't know why. Just love Pink Floyd. Wish you were here. Just think it's just a, a to me, it just it resonates to me. It really resonates to me. That's not it. Where did my 350 go? I knew there was a reason I liked you, Hula. Yeah, I, I love it. It's, I, I still say it's one of the. Love, love, love this song. You look thirsty. Oh, I'm going to get you a drink, man. Dude, we're on the downhill slope. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Hey, let's pause this camera real quick. Let me go take my medicine. It's right at 8 o'clock. Hey, good call. Thank you, Jacques. What's up, chick? How was work? Good. Did you keep butt and take names? Big White Wolf says, I knew there was a reason my mama paid me to watch you. <laughs> I paid me to watch you. Two-stepping says, used to sing, wish you were here, karaoke. Oh. At one Studio time, Kako says, I always feel like I'm not a Pink Floyd fan, but I honestly can't even recall listening to much of their music. I tell you, not all their stuff. I'm not a fan of everything they do, but something about Wish You Were Here. Wish You Were Here is the reason why I picked up a guitar. And I, I, used, to play, I used to play guitar. Wish You Were Here is the exact, the song that made me pick up a guitar and start playing a guitar. And I could play Wish You Were Here. And I used to sing it to Duck all the time when she was a little girl. So damn cute here, and they're like, so, so you think you can tell. I, I can still hear her singing it. That's a sweet memory. Uh, you know, it, it is. It is. Sitting there, baby girl singing along. She always want me to play it all the time. Two-stepping says so. So you think you can tell, heaven from hell, blue skies from pale. Smile to a veil Do you think you can tell Epic song, man What I love about the song It, it, it tells so many different stories uh, Mixed in and, Very uh, the, uh, you know, Jock I mean, says at least it was not Wonder Wall That she would request Right Purple Daisy says I never got to see the dark side Of the Moon Planetarium show But I did see the one set to wish you were here Did you? Studio Kako says Wonderwall. 
Grum Grandpa yeah. says, can you tell a green feel, then get off my damn lawn. <laughs> Grumble. <laughs> Studio Kako says, dying. <laughs> I'm a ghost, do you ring? A smile through a veil. Two I just, Stepping I just says, love... I saw the original laser show for the wall. OMG. I, I just love the, the story. And, and But I, I guess, you know, every song paints its own picture in everybody's mind. And I, I'm a firm believer in that. So you're going to have one person who can really relate to one certain song because they see it. And I, I always look at music as, as seeing it. Seeing it, understanding, relating to it. And I don't know why. I wish you here always is something that always I could relate to. It's like, I don't know. Just. Grump Grandpa says I saw the original concert. It was amazing. I bet so. Dude. That Texas I Cryptid so. says the two songs you should listen to back to back are Comfortably Numb and Queensryche's Silent Lucidity. They Both move together so well. Shida Hari says to be.